What's up guys, welcome back to a new series. Um, this is called Beating Grandmasters with Stupid Stuff, where I'll be beating Grandmaster players with stupid stuff, recommended by you guys in the comments. So, as this is the first episode, I decided to beat my opponent with Mass Zealot into Carrier, no matter the matchup. So, I'll allow myself to build four different units at the start, and after that I'm only allowed to either build uh, salads or carriers and war prisms. So let's see how it goes. Well, we got a PvP, which I think is the worst possible matchup for this. We'll need to open up most likely with something like Sentry Stalker, um, Stalker Stalker. So we have some early defense against Anti Air. So those, those will be my first four units. After that I will be going into a robotics facility and a twilight council, straight for charge. I'll get 2-3 to three prisms and I'll just multitask my life away while attacking 2 carriers most likely. I'm also thinking perhaps I could instead take a very fast third base while harassing my opponent with prisms. Um, and just staying on a very low gas count and just not building carriers whatsoever. But I kind of want to build all units um, because I think winning with mass zealot is a little bit easier. Now my opponent, I just saw that he had a Grandmaster border, so I assume he's Grandmaster. My MMR on this account is about 5.6k, which is on the border of Grandmaster, maybe like uh, top 150, top 120, something like that. So let's have a look how it will go. So usually when you open up Sentry, Stalker, Stalker, what you want to do is you only want to have 15 workers on minerals after you scout and the rest is in gas. This, this will allow you to have the perfect amount of gas once your core finished to get a stalker, a sentry and a warp gate. So e even though we're having a good time, we're still learning a little bit about uh, Protoss openers. We realize our opponent hasn't scouted us, which um, quite honestly is a bit frightening because if we're getting proxied, like especially proxy robot, I think we're gonna be in a world of trouble if we can only build salads. Um, I, I, I'm not quite sure how we will be able to beat that. Now I'm gonna keep playing until I actually win a game with this strategy. So if I lose four games first, then so be it. But ideally I win one game and it's, it's over quickly. So he has something proxied. Um, I don't know what it is. We see Stalker first by him. No follow-up units. Usually against uh, Proxy Robo, they will have follow-up units. So they'll straight away build Adepts after their first Stalker. So I'm starting to believe that this is perhaps a proxy Stargate, more so than a, a proxy Robo, something along those lines. So that's good for me, because it means we won't really need to defend as hard as I would need to in case it's a proxy Robo. I mean, I can, I can beat an Oracle with three Stalkers, you know, that's completely fine. So I'll scout this location as that's a common location for a Robo. Um, I really, really am quite afraid of an oracle in my main base I was gonna say so usually I would build two extra stalkers but I only allowed myself to build um, just four units he got five kills which isn't too hot for me and from now on out we'll only be allowed to warp in salads don't forget so I'm gonna be sending two stalkers into the main base I guess I should start my twilight as soon as possible. Uh, it's gonna be really hard, I just realized, to defend both bases if we have almost no anti-air. So I, I, I can't build more than these. I'm allowed to build observers as well for detection. So perhaps with those and some good stalker movement we will be able to properly defend. Now we got our twilight on the way which means we can start charge relatively soon. Okay, here we go. That's good. I really want him to sacrifice these. I don't care if he gets like six, seven more probes. That's completely fine. I just... The most important thing for me is, is that he doesn't get more... Um, more oracles because that would be really bad for me. Okay. Your 
for the pylons, increase our gateway count, and we'll start our first uh, prism relatively soon. We still have our sentry alive. Don't forget, if I lose my sentry, I'm not allowed to rebuild it either. Same with stalkers, which means the only anti-air I will truly ever have are these three stalkers and carriers after this. Now, we'll be scouting with this bad boy. It's uh, a lot of stalkers. This looks a lot like Blink to me. Okay, it does, does look a lot like Blink to me. Uh, this is extremely frustrating to deal with, honestly. As I can't really do much about this. He has way too many kills already. He has about... Oh, that's big. That's big. Okay. So he got a lot of kills in total already, but... Um, I, I hope that he will attack me, and then the moment he attacks me, I can go in with this. Okay, well, I didn't want him to attack me this quickly, honestly. Okay, no, we're losing all of our anti-air as well. We do have charge already, which it probably means we will be able to eventually clean this up, but it might take a while. Um, we have a bigger gate count than him, which means it should be difficult. Don't forget, we can't really lose these stalkers, or we're practically dead. Now... This counter-attack should be able to do some damage as well. He just recalled his uh, his oracles earlier, so I don't think he has an, a recall available, quite frankly. That one is rather low as well on, on energy, which means I can now just go back to harassing. I picked up all of my units. Now, I, I think we're get, starting to get into a good position, quite frankly. This is nice as well. He's not mining anything at the moment. And we are definitely mining stuff. We can get a couple more zealots in. Um, I like to not lose this prison. As it is a very nice prison. I'm still kind of afraid of his one oracle that he has. But on the other hand, I'm not as afraid of the, the one oracle as I am of the two. Because a battery can deal with one oracle just fine. I still have two stalkers alive as well. Um, once I lose these two stalkers, I'll probably be in a world of trouble, but until then I'm honestly kind of happy with how stuff is going. I think I killed a bunch of his workers, his mining was very very delayed, and I'm gonna go up to a third base right now. Once I get my third base going, oh he's actually gonna move out again. Wait, I'm not allowed to warp in stalkers. Um, once I get my third base going, um, perhaps I'll also start thinking about uh, going into carriers. But for now, third base, back to harassing here. Oh, he jumped into my main base. That's an interesting move. It's a, a big play, even. I think as long as I don't die, I might actually just be winning. He has almost no workers left, left over. Look at that. These guys don't really have upgrades either. So I'm going to be up in upgrades. I'm, I'm up in brain power as well, which is one of the most important resources there is. Um, how many gates does he have? Four. So, oh my god, he can attack me from the low ground. That's not good. Because I can't go to the low ground. Because I have only only salads, which is bad. Uh, I so wish I could warp in extra stalkers. Okay, so I, I, I kind of want to rebuild my prism for... When he moves out, I want to go in again with a prism, basically. That's, that's the whole plan that I have, like... That, that's my goal in life, basically. It's like, I gotta win with counter-attacks. As once he gets, well, any kind of good units out, I think I'm pretty much dead. I'm gonna build a battery here, but for now we'll leave our two stalkers here as well. Um, did he move out with his units? I didn't quite see. He can kite me forever. This is absolute hell. Okay, here he comes moving out. Oh, he sees me, he sees me. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to build cannons. I feel like that might be cheating. You guys in the comments will have to decide about that, whether I'm allowed to build cannons. But we're on 3 base eco. Once I get plus 2, I think I'm going to be in an okay spot. Okay, this is not great that that got scouted. But uh, the longer the game goes, the worse it is for me, quite honestly. Because he will be able to get better units. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. This is really bad for me. 
because I don't really have anti-air against this. Okay, so I'm just gonna build this one, just to scare him a little bit, so he doesn't wanna get in any more any longer with those two oracles. So I'm I'm not actually gonna use it until I can get carriers, obviously, as it's not allowed. So, ugh, that sucks. I'm gonna send this one into the main base, and as I do that, I push his, uh, his third base with this. Because zealots are so quick, I should be able to always run away with these zealots. So, he might spot me here, that might pull all of his units to go down here. I'm gonna get a fourth base. I have plenty of gas already, so transitioning into carrier shouldn't be the issue. Now I'm gonna move forward with two zealots to check if his army is here. His army is here indeed. And we're, I think we need the base trade. Oh, he just keeps building the freaking, freaking, what do you call them? Uh, oracles, eh? And I can't really deal with those at the moment. Okay, we try to warp in a little more. Okay, we got a carrier for anti-air. We use this as a base trade army. These go here. No, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm taking back ex everything I said. Okay, we'll start a second Stargate as well, and we continue worker production. I think I can fight this. Let's see if there's anything behind it. No, there's not. Always important just to make sure that your opponent has not nothing hiding behind a chasing army. I mean, there could be four Archons uh, trailing very far behind it, but luckily that wasn't the case. Now, we're just gonna continue to try the base trade, force him to stay home while we're building carriers. Continue worker production, we'll be going up to four base. I kind of want some vision in the middle of the map as well. Okay. Well. These two can get teleported here. And I have my first carrier out, which will be used for anti-air. Which, I must admit, isn't the most common way to use carriers. Just to... Just to deal with them. Because they're, they're just in time as I... Oh, no, no. I'm losing all of my units on the other side of the map. As I just lost... Basically everything. Oh, no, 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 no. This is really bad for me. This is really bad for me. Okay, we're gonna hide these over here. These go to the natural. I wanna warp in some units here before I go in. And we continue our carrier production. We have a decent work account. Not the biggest, not the smallest either, but uh, I, c I can definitely live with this temporarily and we're just like i said we're just gonna keep base trading again and again until we have a big enough carrier count where i feel comfortable moving across the map with it basically he only has plus one on his unit still which means my zealot should be able to do very well in this fight now these three will be going over here and this once again is an absolutely fantastic fight for me we're going to the natural as well the nice thing is, is that he has no clue that I'm only allowed to build the units that I'm allowed to build, which actually helps me greatly. Because if he knew I could only build zealots and carriers, I think I would be in a, a world of trouble, quite frankly. Now, we were doing a lot of damage. Um, and I'm afraid he's gonna attack me, is what I was about to say. <sighs> I am not feeling this game, boys. I am not feeling this game. Let me tell you that much. Couple more zealots. Okay. Maybe with a little bit of luck. Oh, we're doing it now. There's almost no anti air left. We have three bases. Um, we're lacking some saturation in the main base. We'll try to go there. Up to five carriers. The annoying part is that my eco is quite bad at the moment. 
Like I only have three bases left. My main base is mined out. My natural is mined out. My third base still is rather healthy. Okay, he continues with his uh, stalker archon stuff, which makes some sense actually. Well, it makes a lot of sense if you ask me. Now we're gonna use this one to build a pylon, both for harassment purposes and to check if he has a fort base. Um, this one's also gonna check here. Please let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, he doesn't have anything here. In that case, I'm not gonna build a pylon there as there's a zealot to take care of that. Um, we're continuing zealot and carrier production. I'm really, really afraid, honestly. I'm really, really afraid. Okay, well, we see a, a single stalker, but stalkers never come alone. They're a bit like ants. If you have one ant in your house, you probably have multiple. Similar with stalkers. You never see stalkers in groups of one. If this is DTs, I'm dead. Okay, it's not DTs. Carriers actually deal with harass rather nicely. Who would have thought that a 350-250 capital ship is capable of dealing with that in a very uh, proper way. Okay, we have a lot of carriers. We're losing our third base, but um, we have a big army. So what we're going to do now is we're going to catch his army and we're going to kill him. Well, that's the plan. What could also happen is that we're going to catch his army and he will kill us. Which, you, know, you never quite know how your plan will work out. But I think in general the plan of catching him and killing him is a good plan. I'll try to get plus two before I fight. So I'll put all my chrono in there. It's 60 more seconds. Quite frankly, I don't think I'll be able to to get my upgrade done before the fight starts but maybe somewhere midway through I, I will be able to get it oh whoa, 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 that's a bad blink because now my carriers will be able to start shooting at him um, now ideally I already have my interceptors out before we fight so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep them attacking over there and then they come here all of them are out already and then we go. N now we fight. Now we fight. And we can fly away with our carriers over cliffs. Um, so we will have to fight with our interceptors. Which interceptors are actually quite strong if you leave them by themselves. Now he's doing a little bit of a run by. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, we managed to make some mistakes. We lose another carrier for free. We have five carriers remaining. One more carrier on the way. I think we might actually be fine if we just focus down these Archons. We have 25 interceptors remaining. He is not focusing on interceptors no more. And just like that, I think we might have done it. The problem is that um, the appropriate counter right now is probably something like Mass Stalker. And I can warp in Zealots to counter that. As he doesn't have any Archons remaining, his Zealot count was rather late. So if he blinks below my units, I think we should be in an okay spot. Um, if I can kill these zealots, my zealots become more useful, which is nice. I like more useful zealots. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. So yeah, mess, mess stalker. I think I might just be able to kill him. I'm just gonna warp in some zealots at home to deal with his run by. And we still have five carriers remaining. They have plus two at this point. We're getting a lot of extra zealots as well. We still have five zealots here, which will help greatly against stalkers. Stalkers, in order to deal with carriers, need to blink under them. Uh, if he blinks under them, my zealots will be straight on top of him. Oh, I accidentally attacked my own carrier. That's not good. I think he's going for a bit of a base trade. So we'll send some of my zealots back. I'm pretty sure I won this game now. So, yeah. It's completely possible in Grandmaster if you just have better mechanics to uh, beat your opponents. I wanted to do a Bronze to GM series with this. But then I realized the first 40 games would be very boring because they would just be too easy. The, the thing in StarCraft is, there's basically two ways to win. You can either win by having superior mechanics or by having way better strategies. So I could either just be winning with like less than 100 APM and just executing strategies really well. Or I could be winning by doing poor strategies, but just executing them really well. And sometimes when people play a certain strategy against someone that's a lot worse than them, they be like, oh, I, I saw X and X work, um, for example, Serral managed to beat someone with Mass Zergling Bane Man. Uh, it's like, it's probably a good strategy because of that. It's like, no, like Serral's just 10 times better than everyone. So he could probably mass investors against me and beat me. You should never really forget that. that just because you someone wins with a strategy that is good, doesn't necessarily mean the strategy is good. Now, with that little rant out of the way, we did it. Let's have a look at his MMR. 
and uh, congratulate myself on taking the first one. Okay, 5.6k. So similar MMR to me, which means he is a uh, rank 143 Grandmaster. It's not too bad. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any unit composition suggestion that you want me to play or any opening, feel free to leave it in the comment below. Next week I'll pick the best suggestion and I'll try to win a game with that. Please remember that the suggestion is for every single matchup. So don't make matchup specific suggestions. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, subscribe, and I'll see you boys next week. Bye-bye.